vision, spirit, creativity, forces that drive discovery and innovation, forces at work in the field of education, improving life today, inspiring progress for tomorrow. Across the national landscape of this land of amber waves of grain and majestic purple mountains, there seems to be a growing awareness among we the people, as well as free-thinking economists, that the answer to keeping the American dream alive is keeping jobs in America. Never has it been more crucial for Americans to support American-owned and American-made companies than it is today. You know, the amount of people that come in our store, it's, it's kind of amazing. At this point in time, since 9-11, people now are coming in and saying, show us things that are made in America. And you know, that really hits you right here. And we're very, very proud to be selling products that are made in America. The Industrial Revolution brought America to the point of being recognized worldwide as the most prosperous, inventive, and well-respected nation in the world at one time. Though many of the jobs have left our country, the skilled craftsmen, inventors, entrepreneurs, and hard work ethics of the best among us have stayed here. These are our countrymen and women, ready, willing, and trying their level best to keep this ship upright in the midst of the storm and bring her into smooth waters once again. The American spirit, the tenacity and will to succeed is what drives those in our midst today that refuse to throw in the towel and who keep keeping on. For the last 10 years, our furniture industry in this country has been uh, interested in figuring out how to sell the furniture for lower and lower prices. Um, and they've chosen to differentiate themselves uh, on price. Here at Smith Brothers, we have uh, chosen a little different strategy. Um, our philosophy is to differentiate our company uh, from our peers uh, on the basis of selection, quality, speed, and customer service. Here in our company, we offer uh, nearly a thousand fabrics, a hundred leathers uh, on over 400 frame styles. And they are manufactured to very rigorous standards, um, delivered very quickly, uh, most of the time in less than 30 days, uh, and with excellent customer service. We target our product uh, to a, a discriminating customer who would enjoy personalizing their furniture for their home that they, they will hope to have it for years to come. We're able to do all this with a wonderful group of employees that are very dedicated and loyal that we have here at this company and uh, we're very fortunate to have uh, a cooperative workforce. At the end of the day, the present manufacturing environment in the U.S. of A has necessitated that companies adapt and find ways to offer goods and services that those going overseas for cheap labor cannot offer. Gaining the competitive edge while contributing to the American economy is what companies like Smith Brothers of Bern, Indiana are all about. What many Americans aren't aware of is that manufacturing overseas means that the product blueprints have to be simple. Only a handful of options may be allowed, but anything more complex is simply not feasible. Overseas production is about cutting costs to increase profits, not deliver a better product to the customer at a reasonable price. At their facility in Bern, Indiana, every last detail is up to the customer to decide. For Smith Brothers, finding that competitive edge and delivering what the foreign-based competitors cannot means customization. Offering their customers the ability to custom design each piece of furniture ordered. With the foreigners unable to compete, customization is an approach to being competitive that is gaining tremendous momentum across the manufacturing landscape of our republic. We've been carrying Smith Brothers for well over 50 years, and Smith Brothers is, I believe, 86 years old. They have a quality product, product that's really, really well made. They deliver it in a timely fashion. If we have any problems at all with it, they take care of the problems. They don't bypass anything. It's, a, it's, amazing. it's an amazing company in that when they say they're going to do something, they do it. You know, I've really been doing this for a lot of years. I honestly don't know of another company out there, upholstery-wise, and I'm sure there's some that could be equal, 
but I honestly don't know of another company that's built as well as Smith Brothers of Bern is. It's absolutely an amazing company. It really is. And we're very, very proud to be selling that product that's made right here in America. Very, very important. Many of our competitors out there, they are cutting and sewing in foreign countries. They're uh, cutting lumber in foreign countries and bringing it over. We have the, uh, the manufacturing of the lumber uh, is in our uh, plant too. We do all of the cutting of the fabric and leather here. We do all the sewing here, and then we bring it down. So when a customer orders a product, that's when we start the process of building the furniture. We don't, again, we don't do it in a foreign country and then try to bring it into here. Over the past 150 years, the town of Bern, Indiana, has seen big developments in progress, but has always maintained a strong connection to its roots. This Midwestern city has been the epicenter of quality, handcrafted furniture production in America since the early part of the 20th century. Smith Brothers is owned and operated here, in the same building where they first started their American dream back in 1926. One of the things that separates us at Smith Brothers is the fact that we offer a thousand fabrics. Um, you know, in a, a room like this where you can see everything laid out, we go through and we'll literally look at tens of thousands of different fabric and leather options to pare down uh, to what we'll actually introduce. We introduce about 120 fabrics, about five to ten new leathers every six months. Um, with an import line, uh, generally you're, you're, you're buying as shown or you may have a, a couple of different options. So this truly is, is what separates us from uh, some of our competition that have, that have chosen to go offshore and source with, uh, with overseas product. Every, every piece of furniture that you see out here is a discrete order. So we, we are not building to inventory. We are actually building on a customer demand. So we, are, we don't have the uh, luxury of building four, five, six, seven pieces right in a row that is the same design, that is the same fabric, that is the same leather. Everyone changes. An operator could be building a chair now, could be building a sofa right after that, could be building a love seat, could be building leather, could be building fabric. Uh, so we have to really gear our manufacturing around that variability. In, uh, in what's happening in, in other places where they, are, uh, uh, they have multiples running around and they're building for inventory, we don't have that luxury. All, all of our products are, <clears throat> are handcrafted and we have an American flag that goes out on every one of them. And our people are very proud of what they do. As a matter of fact, on each piece of furniture there's a, a label with each person as they manufacture this part, they actually sign that and our customers love that. To learn more about the American made and made in America, custom furniture offered by Smith Brothers, visit their website at www.smithbrothersfurniture.com.